Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Hayek Show. This is your host, How to Go. Hello, I'm also your host, Steve Levinite. Welcome to the Hayek Show. Hayek stands for How Are You in Korea? We talk about the daily lives of Kosa's K influencers and discuss current events in Korea. Every Thursday at 2 p.m. So stay tuned as we will be streaming with new K influencers every week. Yes, yes. Now let's say hello to our guests. Hello. Hi, hi. Hi. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. Could you guys please introduce yourselves? Yeah, sure. I'm Elita. I'm from Russia, but I grew up in Turkey. So I'm oh. half Turkish now, I guess. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm an enter- entertainer here. Mm-hmm. And I'm living here about two years now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I deal with social media. Mm-hmm. I love create contents. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. wow. Very cool. Uh, and Marina from Mexico. I have been living here in Korea for three years already. Uh, I'm a PhD student uh, at Geist in Daejeon. So I live a little bit far. <laughs> oh my goodness, you made quite a trek to get here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Did you take the bus? Yeah, I took the bus. bus. It was like an hour hour long uh, hour. yeah two hours two hours yeah. to uh, seoul express bus terminal and uh-huh. then one hour from seoul express bus oh terminal gosh. yeah so three hours wow it's okay. so long wow. <laughs> thank you for for making your way out here yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for having me here of course could you tell us about some interesting stories from your time in korea um for me it was han river when i was in turkey uh, it was like so famous And Mm -hmm. I really wanted to visit someday. And I had some Korean friends. They were like sending me pictures and it was like 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. But still people were there and enjoying their time, like drinking, eating. Mm -hmm. And they had to like go to work early in the morning, but they were still there. (gasps) And I was like, oh, why Korean people doesn't sleep? (laughs) So so I experienced it by myself and Mm -hmm. I really like it. So now uh, Han River dates one of my favorite thing in Korea. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you went there and you saw people at like 3 a.m. still. Yes. Like, that happens? But, yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's true. laughs> they don't sleep for real. They don't sleep. Wow, I mean, yeah. I know they don't sleep, but I thought they would like be like at the club or something like that, but they're just like chilling at Han River. <laughs> I don't know. It was summer, so. <laughs> oh, it was summer. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Have you ever tried um, the Lamyon? Yes, of course. Like it's, you never tried hanging lemon before? No, no. You just try. You definitely should try it. That's one of the experiences. Yeah. Stay till like four a.m. Or, or I guess you have to yeah. stay till like five or six a.m. Like when the bus, the train starts. Uh, yeah, it oh, makes oh, sense. Of course, yeah. that's yeah. true. That's yeah. you stayed like that long as mm-hmm. well. Wow, I did, <laughs> and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah. oh, okay that's an interesting experience yeah. um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in my case well i have many mm-hmm. but uh related to my studies in Daejeon, every time uh, people ask me like what do you do i say ah i'm a phd student uh, at guys and People, Koreans always say like, oh, genius, genius, because uh, Kais is the best university right. for science and technology. Mm-hmm. So so I remember one guy, we were in a kimbap place. And when I told him, ah, yeah, I'm a student at, at Kais, he said like, oh, take one for free. Wow. So he gave me food. And every time uh, I say that, it's like, oh, wow, <laughs> amazing. Uh, so because I think for Koreans, it's mm-hmm. really important education. Mm-hmm. And mm. actually, I don't know if you know, but Korea uh, is the second largest investor in mm. on R and D, more than four percent of the G- uh, GDP. It's only behind Israel, so it's really mm. important education and technology yeah. and science. Yeah. yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. So you're just like, oh, I'm from Kaist, and then they're like, hey, you take free food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should try it out. Oh, yeah, exactly. Maybe you should try it. Yeah. I'm from, uh, actually, yeah, I'm from Kais. Uh, <laughs> just wear like a jacket. Like you have a school kind of like jacket. No, 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 no nothing. Yes. Oh, wow. Just, just saying, uh-huh. wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Maybe you should try and let me know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what are, well, thank you for sharing. Uh, what are your plans in Korea from now on? Um, uh, my major is cinema and television. So I want to work in a channel here in Korea. Oh. Yes. But I need to be fluent in Korean first. So I study hard right now to like make my Korean much better. So that's my goal. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. When I, what type of like TV shows? Like, yeah, 
I don't I don't mind like I want to be in production team like management team so I want to direct something mm. you know? so that's one of my dream here oh, so mainly behind camera yeah that's true ah. that's true you want to direct like a TV show, a movie, or like a variety show? All of them. All of them. Wow. All of okay. Them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a really fun, fun yeah. path. Yeah, yeah. We'll be looking forward. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Can't <laughs> wait to see some of your. Pro- You're already creating content now, yeah, so that's, that's true. like a next natural step. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hopefully. Fighting. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and for me, uh, well, I need to finish my PhD. Maybe two or three years more because mm-hmm. this is my second year. My PhD is in global digital innovation. It's kind of technology, management, and business. Mm -hmm. So I I really want to create a startup here Mm -hmm. because it's a very good ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And I want uh, I want to have family here. So I want to have my babies here. So I want to stay longer. Yeah, as much as possible. Very nice. (laughs) 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 What what type of company Uh, or like startup would you like to do? Last last summer, I participated in a hackathon. It was a startup uh, for creating credit scoring model for people without great history. So in Mexico, a lot of people doesn't have credit uh, bank account mm-hmm. or credit or a credit card. Mm-hmm. So this system allows people without financial history mm-hmm. to access to bank services. Mm-hmm. So that's one possibility, but I don't know, any yeah. relate, any kind of a startup related with technology. Ah, just doing good work. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's really useful. I and, hope. And in, in Korea, actually, I know it's a very good place for like technology startups. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The government yeah. like often gives a yeah. lot of money to like help Right. technology startups and there's a lot of mm-hmm. investment in technology itself support, here yeah even at and guys support as well. if, yeah we have a, a special program for startups last year mm-hmm. i went to silicon valley mm-hmm. uh, for a training oh, wow. so yeah it, that's why i went to stay in korea because there are a wow. lot of support from government yeah. and the schools that was through kaist but yes. you went to silicon valley. Kaist and wow. silicon valley stanford university yeah, wow. so it was amazing. Oh really, really, that's mm. really cool. Yeah, they have like the K startup, I believe that's what. Yeah, it's called. right. Like K startup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. K startup is really good. If you're like in tech at all, then really recommend checking Korea out because you can go to K startup. You can yeah. get like funding and support as well. Yeah, all sorts of like free support, right? Free support. Yeah, yeah everything's free. free. Support. For this hackathon, I won one million won. Oh, so it was really oh, nice. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a really good country for startups. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, amazing. Good luck to you as well. Hi Ting to everybody. Hi Ting. <laughs> <laughs> this year's Shusok was how long? Six days long? Oh, six, six days. days. Yeah. Six days. That's like the long. longest holiday right. I've seen. Mm-hmm. Did you guys like rest like well? <laughs> so well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do you guys spend your six day long choose up? Uh, you want to start first? Oh, okay. Uh, well, um, at school, we ate delicious food with our professors and we play a game, Yutnori. Oh, Yutnori. Oh, yeah, Yutnori. We played yeah. that one and we ate a lot of fruits. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then at home, I, my husband is Mexican too. So we really didn't have like uh, the tradition or we don't have the tradition to f- celebrate Chusuk, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. his mom is from America. Mm-hmm. So we go, uh, mix Chusuk and Thanksgiving Day. So yes. we celebrate uh, together. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Wow. You came to Korea together? Yes. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's been nice. <laughs> so for me, I went to traditional market, mm-hmm. one junk. Mm-hmm. So uh, I tried some Chusuk food there. And I drank like the mm, rice drink. Shike. Shike. Yes. Oh, um, what did you think of it? I mean, it's not too bad, but for me, I wouldn't drink it. <laughs> 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 I love it. It's so sweet for me. And oh, it's too sweet. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Mm, right, it that's is sweet. my type. It's pretty sweet, yeah. Do you like, you like shike? Yeah, I like shike. At first, I really didn't like, I'm like, rice and mm. water? Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah. but, but when I tried it out, it was very sweet and it was very delicious. Mm. So. Every time you go to like a sauna, like you know how they oh, eat shike, drink shike yeah. and the eggs. Yeah, 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 with the eggs. Yeah. So you gotta crack them on the forehead. Yeah. <laughs> but I've never tried. I never tried it. I never tried shike and eggs in sauna. So ah, okay, maybe next time. Oh, okay. You should. You should. I'd, I'd like try. to try like one that. Do you think they make it without the sugar, just the rice 
in the water and like maybe isn't that just like nurungji 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 tang I guess kind yeah. of yeah 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 I do really like that so actually, yeah I like it too yeah in Mexico we have something similar mm -hmm. it's a water made from rice we call agua de horchata Oh, do you know horchata? Yeah, 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 it's made from rice. So cinnamon, like, isn't it like cinnamon flavored? Uh, similar flavor, but I think Mexican one is better. It's oh, yes. If you go to a Mexican restaurant, you can ask for horchata water. Yeah, right. Ah, yeah. Okay, I want to. Well, when I was back in LA, you know the taco taco trucks. Yeah. I always drink horchata. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Very good. Uh -huh. It's mixed with milk, so it's white. It's delicious. Yeah. It's I've only had it once. Try. When I was in Mexico, I had it once. So like the, the original. What? You were in Mexico. The, only <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the original one. Yeah. You have been many places. <laughs> oh, I like traveling. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, so which, which market was that that you went to? Kwangjang. Kwangjang. Ah, I think it's, I think it's a called famous market. What is the famous Netflix? Market, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the Netflix uh, Ajuma from the. True. Yeah. Yes. There is mm -hmm. the Netflix Street Food Korea, mm -hmm. and there is an episode from that market with. Ah. Uh, so she is now so famous yeah, after that. Selling noodles. Ah. Yeah. Oh. True. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. What? For Chuso, you guys did some really like fun stuff. It seems had a lot of <laughs> foods and like celebrating some time with your your family there as well. Mm -hmm. I was working. Working. Yep, working. Really? That sucks. Every, every day. Well, every I mean, day? it does. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I liked it. Every single day I was working. Okay. But then on Sunday, was that was Chuso day, right? No, Saturday. The day after. Uh -huh. Yeah, Sunday. Saturday. It was Saturday. Actually, there was I went to a funeral. Oh, yeah. Nice. So funeral, and then I went to work. So it was just yeah. work the whole time. But yeah, that was oh it was God. nice. It was nice. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoyed it. Yeah, that was a really mm -hmm. nice. As long as you enjoyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At work, we were we were listening to like um, music together yeah. and like having a chill time together. So yeah, it was, oh, it was so fun. Nice. What did you What did you do for yourself? I went to my aunt's house, mm. and yeah, we all my family all all my family like gathered together my uncle mm -hmm. my aunt mm -hmm. we all had like a meal together and the very next day we went to a sanzo sanzo which is um like uh, a great a cemetery uh, cemetery uh, 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 to like meet our uh grandparents oh my grandma and grandpa so yeah that's oh. so you need to visit them like all together in one day right like no, mother's I mean, side, father's side. No, no, it's not that. But mm. that's what that's what I did for you. So. Mm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, that's kind of similar. So we we're both, you know, in that sphere. Mm, I yeah. Guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, very cool. Did Did you guys eat any, anything special for Chuseok? Uh, I mean, <laughs> just the rice cake, mm -hmm. like songpyeon. Mm -hmm, oh. mm -hmm. uh, so I like tok, so I can eat it every day. Actually, not only for Chuseok. Okay. So that's Luckily, nice. they sell that all year round, that's not just true. Chuseok, right? That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, in my case, uh, not really, but we had a homemade uh, kimbap. Mm -hmm. And my husband, he tries to make kind of like turkey because of th uh, Thanksgiving Day. Mm -hmm. But now that you mentioned the cemetery in Mexico, do you know Coco, the Day of the Dead? Yeah, the, the movie Coco. The movie Coco, oh, yeah, 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 exactly. We have the same in Mexico. The Day of the Dead, we visit the cemetery mm. and bring food. So it's really similar. It's very similar mm. to Chusok. Mm. Yeah, the oh. Oh. Right. Wow. But for us, it's November 1st. November 1st. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next month, right? Yeah. It's October right. this month, right? Yes. All right. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we don't keep track of the date that well. <laughs> yeah, actually, you, you were just talking about it, but we shared uh, the, the half moon shaped rice cakes called mm -hmm. Songpyeon with our guests on our special Chuseok episode. Mm -hmm. oh. And to re celebrate, we will share some again. Again. Oh, again. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Yeah, you're saying you can yeah. have it all the time. So, luckily, yeah, that's true. here Make we go. Yeah. It smells delicious. Yeah. Right? Okay. Well, take as many as you want. I'll take Thank this you. One. Take as many as you I'll want. Give her. Okay. I want to like the yellow one. Okay. You guys are only going to take one? Mm. I wonder what the lemon one is. What if one it's like lemon? Lemon? 
No, no. <laughs> does it taste? Does it taste like lemon? No, no, no. No, no, no. Right? Oh, mm. actually, I'll have mm. one of these. I love the black. I, I cooked tried this the one last time. You cooked? Like there was a the program in Daejeon mm. for uh, teaching um, how to cook Korean food, mm -hmm. and I cooked this uh, songbyeong <laughs> last year, I think. You made it? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! Really? <laughs> yeah, I love it. Mm. Oh, that is really good, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have some more. <laughs> How's it? Thank you. Yes. How does a songpyeon taste? It's so chewy and sweet chewy. Mm -hmm. and nutty. <laughs> and nuts. oh. Mm. <laughs> for, <laughs> for me at the beginning I didn't like it because it was like what mm. rice like uh, kind of like the candy but now after three years I love it mm. love it right I think it's a beautiful invention the stuff actually all the things you can get that are made out of like rice in Korea yes it it's insane mm -hmm. and now my favorite my very favorite one of my favorite snacks of uh -huh. all time is It's like hankwa. 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 So it's something that's usually had, when is it around? I can't remember when it's had, but hankwa, it's kind of like these puffy rice sweet things. They're ah. very like, like you can break them like yes. this and the inside is very airy. And they're not too sweet, but they're kind of like fried as well, but they're not really oily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it's, very, like, it's super traditional too. It's very traditional, yeah. Kind of like, very, is it kind of like bongtigi? No, Not like really. like bondegi. Bondegi is like <laughs> Isn't isn't it seafood? Bondegi is no, like what? no, it's like um bondegi. some sort of beetle or something. Yeah, yeah. But it's or like a poop poopa. No, but this is yeah. This is just like rice. It's yeah. rice. just like rice. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like whipped up in a very old traditional kind of style. Oh. And then there's like a little bit of yacht, I think, in it. Some oh, sort really? of sugar. Mm -hmm. And then it's fried. Mm. Yeah. I don't like that one, but <laughs> I know I I don't know the name, but. Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah. No. Actually, um, this week's theme of the hike show is Chuncheon style spicy stir fried chicken called Takgalbi. Oh, Takgalbi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry now. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever been to Chuncheon before? I've been. I've been to Chuncheon. Oh, really? It's very nice. Yes. Ooh. When did you go? Uh, like a year ago. A year ago. A year yes. ago. Okay. And I've been to like Takarbi Street and the lake. They are so famous in Chuncheon. Is it actually called Takarbi Street? Myeongdong <laughs> Takarbi Street. I don't know why it calls like that. Really? It's really called that? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't know what, but yeah. Right. <laughs> oh. I think I haven't been there. Uh, mm. I went to Nami Island, but just Nami Island and then come back to, I came back to Seoul. So no. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm, yeah, Nami Island. Actually, now that you mention it, Chuncheon is a city located in Gangwon province, province Korea. Mm -hmm. It is where Nami Island, which we mentioned quite a f quite frequent frequently in previous hike show episodes, is located. Mm -hmm. Chuncheon offers a wide range of foods, but it, the most famous food is Chuncheon Takgalbi. They even have a street named after it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you've tried takarbi before. Yes. How about? Yeah, me too. Actually, it was the second meal that I have in Korea when I oh. arrived because oh, really? uh, it's my friend's favorite uh, meal. So ah, we went to right. takarbi place, but in Daejeon. In Daejeon. So, uh -huh. How about you? Mm. Takarbi, I never tried it before. I feel I no no I've tried it. <laughs> yeah, I've tried it. You tried it. I've tried it. But you're it? Not you don't rem <laughs> you don't have a, you don't remember though. I kind of <laughs> I don't eat chicken that often uh -huh. and so I think I remember having it and I think it, I think it was really good as well but I have not had had it much and I've never gone to a restaurant for it it was not like really. yeah it was a, a Korean person cooked it oh. for me so I'm pretty sure that was takgalbi but I never like <laughs> ordered it at a, no. at a restaurant before do you, I mean okay. I've tried takgalbi too and my first time was at Taejeon oh. yeah, oh. with my, with my <laughs> uncle Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So yeah, it was very, very good, very spicy. Mm -hmm. But I like spicy stuff, so it was good. But uh, since you're talking about takabi, I'm gonna have one more songpyeon, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they should make they should make like a takabi songpyeon. <laughs> Put the chicken on the inside and oh, make it spicy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If if any of our viewers haven't tried takabi yet and haven't decided what you'd like to have for dinner. 
we strongly recommend takarbi at least once. It actually is it, quite it's quite nice. Yeah, that's true. And chuncheon takarbi was recently r- ranked second in the world for stir fried dishes. Wow. Taste Atlas, which is a media outlet specializing in food, ranked the world's best stir-fried dishes from 3,057 different foods and selected <laughs> takgarbi as second place. Oh my second God. best stir-fried food in the world? Mm-hmm. What is first place then? What is first? Well, Pat Kaprao from Thailand was ranked first. It's a uh, it's it's kind of like a chicken chicken dish with ba- basil and rice. That sounds oh. good. It, yeah, it's really good actually. The first day that I was in Thailand, I tried some. Oh really? You yeah. tried it before? Yeah, I had it. That was the very first dish I had, and it was oh it's God. actually amazing. The third place went to Tibbs of Ethiopia. This one's kind of like a, a beef stewy like thing. It's beef with like a lot of of spices. Have you ever mm-hmm. tried this before too? I haven't, but I, I looked at a photo and I could taste the photo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It looks it looks very good. Fourth went to Lomo Saltado of Peru, mm-hmm. and that's it's also a little bit similar, but they they put like fries and rice with the dish. Uh-huh. Um. The fries, rice, rice, and then meat with like a lot of kind of spices as well. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then fifth went to beef chow fun of China. Which is like a, that's beef with with noodles. Noodles, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Have you have you tried any of these? No, <laughs> actually, no, not really. I have heard about the Peruvian one. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other, it looks. I mean, just with the picture, looks delicious. But no, I haven't tried. Just takalbi. I love it because it's spicy. But that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Wait, what, what was um, what was this again? Lomo saltado. It's it's Lomo salta. beef. beef. With Me. like spices, and then they from the photo they have fries and rice with it. I think I've tried it before. Oh, really? really? Yeah, I've tried Peruvian food before. Right? Is that that's yeah, the same, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, uh-huh. uh, yeah. Per- Where? Peru. In Peru? In, a, in, LA. In, in LA. In LA. Latin restaurant or something. Yeah, uh-huh. I've tried it. It was very delicious. It was like uh-huh. fried rice, fries, and meat. Yeah, with mm-hmm. sauce and yeah, right. yeah. 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 sauce. It was very, it was very good. It was like very. Citrusy, like it was. Ooh. I like put a lot, lot of lime. limones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, funny. <laughs> it was very delicious. So I think mm. I've tried Peruvian food before, mm-hmm. and mm. of course you guys tried takarbi. So yeah, takarbi. Yes, mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. So I've tried two. Uh, only one oh. for me. Okay. Only one. Same. Only one. Oh, you guys are making me making me hungry i awesome. really want to try that lomo <laughs> saltado <laughs> i'm already hungry we got to find now like a peruvian restaurant here in uh, in korea we should there's probably a good one yeah, yeah. yeah i've tried i've tried i guess in namibia we probably have something kind of similar to tibs mm-hmm. so the flavor i can imagine and then the the pat kaprao i've tried as well so and and beef chow fun as well you tried that too yes vancouver actually uh, where I spent seven years in Vancouver, we have Ooh. a lot of Chinese restaurants wow. owned by Chinese people. So mm-hmm. they're quite, I mean, I wouldn't say they're authentic. They're like Vancouver style Chinese food, oh. uh-huh. but they have a lot of like these really famous dishes as well. And so you can get some of the best Chinese food there. Wow. Oh, really? So you basically tried everything. Everything. And everything. I tried the, the Vancouver version and I tried the Chinese version in China as well. So Which oh. one is better? Uh, I won't say they both have their own charm. Actually, they were done pretty similarly, this dish, because it's a simple one. So they were done pretty similarly. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh. So actually, Taste Atlas, which was established by a Croatian journalist in 2018, is an acclaimed online media outlet with 960,000 followers on Facebook, 300,000 on Instagram, and 100,000 on X. It introduced ver- introduces various local foods and ranks foods in different sectors. It was said that this ranking aimed to spread information about local cuisines, instill pride in traditional foods, and raise curiosity about foods that people haven't tried yet. Taste Atlas introduced takgarbi as a stir-fried dish of Korea and described it as various ingredients like chicken, cabbage, rice cakes, carrots, and sweet potatoes are cooked in a large cast iron fry pan. It also added that a generous amount of spicy Pepper paste, chili powder, soy sauce, garlic, ginger, and onions is key. 
and that sesame leaves are also sometimes added. It even talks about the cooking process. Mm -hmm. I have a I have a little tip for you guys when eating takarbi. So after you're like done, mm -hmm. like kind of like finished, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you put rice in it. Oh, so you wow. make bokumbap. Okay. Oh. It's like oh. Oh. my favorite. You put the sauce, you mix it with the sauce and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it just tastes yeah. delicious. Actually, now delicious. that you say that, I th now I think I have had takarbi in Canada. Canada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> that reminded me. That that reminded me. I remember now we finished eating the chicken and then we put the rice in and then fried it a little bit more with the sauce and everything. Mm. That was in Canada. So I had takarbi for the first time in Canada. In Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. Was it good? Oh yeah, that was of yeah. yeah. Right. Now now I'm remembering it. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from takarbi that we just talked about, curry has a very a variety of stir fried dishes such as stir fried glass noodles, which is called chapche. Mm. Uh, you guys, yes, you guys, okay. you guys, you guys chapche. I love it. Though. I love it too. <laughs> well, I think I love food in general. So. In general. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you ever tried chapche? I make chapche. You make chapche. Yeah, oh. yeah. Quite often, I make chapche. All right. <laughs> Same. I also. Really? Yes. Oh, it's a nice one to make. It's kind of. It's almost simple, uh -huh. even though people say it's difficult. It's, it's not difficult. It's not that difficult. No. Yeah, you just mm -hmm. need to prepare like all the ingredients. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then put them all together. Put it all together, and you're done. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so delicious. And yeah. also, stir fried octopus named nakji bokum mm. and spicy braised chicken called tak bokum tang. Mm -hmm. okay. Have you guys ever tried any other stirred fried dishes in Korea? Tak Yes. No, I mm. think no. that one no, but one with beef gochujang bokumba. What? With beef? <laughs> yeah, it's beef with beef, <laughs> beef, uh, beef and rice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But I don't remember the name. Gochujang bokum bokum. Gochujang bokumba. Gochujang bokumba. Interesting. Interesting. Did somebody cook that for you? Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. May, may, oh. So maybe it was just invented, not really. Yeah, yeah. I think it's not an official dish, but yeah. I could imagine somebody <laughs> would cook that for yeah, you. Only with, yeah, yeah but it was with beef. Maybe mm -hmm. because uh, it was a friend, uh, but we eat with another friend who is a uh, Muslim. So mm -hmm. you know, halal. Oh. maybe that's why. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, maybe it was kind of like, like teyu pokum or something but then he changed it to to beef, to beef and just was like kochjang pokum mm. <laughs> maybe yeah. sure. have you ever tried any of these any of these uh i don't i, don't, I haven't tried the octopus chapche of course i make chapche okay. and actually also every day i pretty much like used to now i started a new a new diet lifestyle but i used to every single day just eat fried rice Eat oh, fried rice. Yeah. yeah. Every day for three meals straight. Morning, lunch. Really? Yeah, Why? dinner. Oh it was just this because it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you make it but yourself, I mean. Yeah, I'd make it myself and it's like whatever vegetables I have, I'm just kind of like frying them, putting them in. <laughs> whatever Based protein on, I have, I'm just yeah, putting it right. in and I'm just eating fried rice. So that was like every single day. So now I'm kind of tired of it. Yeah. And uh, I eat something something else now, but it's the same, it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was six years that I ate that same meal for. What? Six years? So maybe this time I'll just do five years. Five years? Yeah, of this, yeah. the same meal. Same thing, same meal. Same meal, wow. yeah. Pancakes now. Pancakes? Yeah, homemade. Korean pancakes? Korean? Or? No, no, like homemade um, pancakes in my style. Even the fried rice is my style. I can't say any country. Oh. Uh -huh. Kind of like an oats pancake or something like that. Oh. Like easy things. Yeah, yeah, easy things. Things I can prepare like ahead of time. But yeah. But in Korea, kimchi bokkeumbap. Kimchi bokkeumbap. Is one of the best, like fried yes. rices. I think that's really good. It's just kimchi, mm -hmm. rice. Fried together. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Sometimes some meat. Yeah. Usually some spam. meat. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes spam. Oh yeah, sometimes spam, right? Is, no, spam is like a is that, must. That's the, okay. Spam is a must. Is that how you uh, have it? Yeah, even in the convenience store, you can find the fried rice with yeah. spam. So Yeah, yeah. that's okay. true. Yeah. And also egg on top. Oh, yeah. Do you make do you make that ever yourself? It's one of the easier like dishes to make. I've made um like what like kanjangirang mm. Oh. You put soy sauce, yeah. rice, mm -hmm. eggs, mm -hmm. mix it up. And it's pretty good. Yeah. I think it's a good staple to have. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
Is there any stir fried dishes from your country that you would like to share with us? Mm, maybe from Turkey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a dish uh, like similar to takkalbi, but we don't use chicken, we use beef. And beef. the vegetables are very in small pieces. Mm. And uh, it calls such tawa. <laughs> Such tawa. Such tawa. Yes. <laughs> oh, good friend. Such tawa. <laughs> the pronunciation, yeah. Such tawa. Such tawa. Yes. Yeah. And it's very delicious. <laughs> That's, right. That sounds beautiful. Actually, I'm gonna, now I'm going to bring that to my Turkish friend. Such tawa. Oh, yeah, you should. <laughs> yeah. Make me some such tawa. <laughs> <laughs> In Mexico, we don't have that. Um, there is one, but it's Chinese rice, and, mm. but we normally cook, but it's, we know it's chi uh, Chinese, mm -hmm. but I think like, even if we don't have like the fried rice, every time we cook uh, rice, mm -hmm. we always fry the rice before cooking it. Mm -hmm. So, but it's totally different because in Mexico, the rice is with, with tomato sauce and mm -hmm. carrots. Mm -hmm. uh, it's delicious. And also there is a special dish, uh, arroz con mole. Mole is a special sauce made of uh, from chocolate and species. It's um, what? Chocolate? Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> what? And cookies and banana. It's there are a lot of ingredients for mole, yeah. but it's like sauce. So we normally eat arroz, uh, chicken and mole together. Uh, wow. Chocolate chicken? <laughs> 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 Not really, but it depends. There are, there are um, the mole could be uh, spicy mm -hmm. or it could be like sweet. It depends on how much chocolate you add. It's delicious. Don't talk about chocolate in Fair Palago. I know, yeah, <laughs> actually, <laughs> there's a, there was a little story. I don't know if you can hear my, my kind of like, I'm a little bit stuffed up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> that actually <laughs> during Chuseok, ah. there was a really, a really kind of, I don't know how to describe this, like a, a happy and also sad and bad situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, prepare for a little story here. But actually, so, okay, there's lots of convenience stories in Korea, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everywhere yeah. you go. Yeah. And every single month, one of the things that they do, and I notice this because I'm, you know, I'm kind of in there and I'm looking at these things. They do every month a sale for like the stuff in the store, right. chocolates and sweets and, right. you know, all sorts of like popcorn and stuff like that. So and it's usually like two plus one, one plus or one, one plus one, which one plus one is, I think that's, <laughs> <I've ever> seen, <laughs> that's the best. Seen, have you ever seen three plus two? Three plus yeah. two. Oh, that's usually for ice cream. No, it was for chocolate too. It was like a, no way. Yeah. I've never seen <laughs> that. Oh, really? Yeah, there was like a three plus two. I was like, what? <gasps> oh my goodness. You're like a, you're a veteran then in the sale there. <laughs> So every month they do this special sale mm -hmm. and it changes kind of like what things are on sale. And so I'm always kind of in there like looking at the beginning of the month, like, oh, what do they have on sale this month? And this month they had one of my favorite chocolates on sale. And here's the thing. It's called Lindor. It's Lindor. a red chocolate. It's very sweet and very decadent is the word for mm -hmm. it. And usually it comes in like three Lindor balls together in a pack and it's quite expensive but then they released a new pack here in korea where it's mm -hmm. four of them in a pack together okay. and they had it one plus one was it the, okay. was it the same flavor the same, same flavor as well flavor. yeah okay. usually I, I know too much about lindor but usually they have like different flavors <laughs> <laughs> but now they they had just the exact same flavor and so the entire chuseok i was eating so many of those Lindors. I'm not going to say the amount because it was, just, it was a bit too much. And so I actually got a little bit sick now. <laughs> so, oh, oh my God. so don't mention oh. chocolate because I could still eat more. <laughs> you really no, love that. Lindor. I love Lindor. I mean, I love chocolate in general. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not a chocolate guy. Yeah, but right. the red one <laughs> is the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's okay, stop talking right. about yeah, chocolate. Because I'm going to have to get yes. some after this. Right. <laughs> I mean, what are, what are your favorite like stir fried dish? What's your favorite? Uh, Korean stir fried. Any, any? Any. For me, takalbi. Takalbi. Yeah, takalbi. actually for me the same. Takalbi. takalbi. Yes. Takalbi. Yeah. Just like regular or like a, like a Chinese stir fried rice. So just kind of like whatever vegetables and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, like in our country, because you were talking about like in, in people's countries. Yeah, all right. In our country, we don't as well have like a stir fried rice, rice kind of like dish or even like stir fried noodles or anything. Our dishes are mainly stews. 
with like white rice on the side, usually mm-hmm. steamed, right? And uh, and then like lots of like potatoes, potato salad, sweet potatoes and stuff like that. That's kind of the way that we do it. There, there oh, yeah. is a dish called Jim Duck. Oh, but I don't know if that it's like yeah. stir fried rice or not because at the end uh, my friend do the, uh, did the same like adding rice and fry and then fry it like it was delicious like same with the calvi but we did it with the gym duck. Gym duck. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's kind of similar but I think it's with noodles uh, mm-hmm. instead mm-hmm. of rice. And the gym part means that it's like boiled, like steamed or boiled. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. That one, that one is a solid dish. Jim Dung is good. That's really good. It's really yeah. good. I yeah. also love it. Oh my God. I have so much like in my head, like what, what should I eat today? Like, yeah, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like kimchi bokumbap. Exactly. And if you look at the photos of those like number one, two, yeah. three, four, five as well, then you're going to be like, oh no, now I need to go find some other foods too. I would take yeah. a look. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. In, in LA, what type of like fried foods are most popular? Fried chicken. Fried, <laughs> yeah. Fried I, mean, I don't think I don't think. I mean, Americans don't like have rice in their right in their diet. No, so not as much. Right? Yeah, yeah, I don't think there's like a specific American like fried dish. Yeah, but I mean, as me growing up in LA, I my parents are Korean, so mm. I always ate like Korean food. So uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I think my favorite fried dish is probably. Kimchi bokumbap. Kimchi bokumbap. Oh. I think that's like because mm. my dad makes good some good oh. kimchi bokumbap, so Ooh. I love kimchi. Can you make it? Can I make it? I mean, <laughs> if I if I have a recipe and like the ingredients, maybe I can, but I don't think I can make it as good as my dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, first you need like some some kimchi. Kimchi, and yeah, usually, of course. Usually it's like a year old kimchi, right? Uh, you have a special fridge for kimchi. Oh, yeah, kimchi yeah, and yeah, right. yeah. mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. But I don't know what one year, like, expired kimchi? Yeah, like, well, <laughs> fermented, <laughs> fermented for kimchi. Aha, uh-huh, for the fermentation. I mean, yeah, kimchi, is yeah, yeah. Off, kimchi is, comes out fermented, no? Uh, well, you can yeah. you can have, like, the fresh one that's just made. Mm-hmm. And, like, a lot of restaurants serve that. But you need to have it, like, fermented for a while. I um, made kimchi mm-hmm. once. Yes? Yeah, in Jeonju. There is, yeah, there is a special kind of cultural center mm-hmm. and we prepare kimchi, fresh, fresh mm. kimchi. Oh, oh really? Yeah. This right now is actually the time of the year for making kimchi. Right, yeah. It's oh. called kimjang. Kimjang, right. Kimjang. So a lot of families like get together. Do they do that over Chuseok as well? Like make the kimchi or is it a little bit later this month? I've never made kimjang before. Okay, so okay. <laughs> so a lot of families come together and then they're sitting around like a huge amount of cabbage heads. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're making kimchi for the rest of the year and oh, yeah. to like give to other families and stuff like that as well. So I did it. I did kimjang last year. When did you do? Last year. Last year. Yeah. Last yeah, last year. year. So I did and it last year. Right. It was November, I think. Yes. For me. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So around the end of this month is when yeah. like kimjang happens, mm-hmm. and uh, and then people prepare like beautiful kimchi and whatnot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> beautiful, mm-hmm. beautiful, yeah, beautiful <laughs> kimchi. <laughs> <laughs> Next kimjang I I do, I'll give you some, and you can make some kimchi. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. No, you're right because you can like make the shape, and yeah, yeah, yeah I think it, it's very fun to do together. Yes. Mm-hmm. So good. with that, it is uh, already time to say goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. How was your time today? Oh, it was great, actually. And thanks for having us. <laughs> thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, because this is my second time. Mm-hmm. And I was here in the first episode. So mm-hmm. after more than 30 episodes, it's like, mm-hmm. wow, you re- you are doing really great. And <laughs> I wish you more, 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 more episodes here. And maybe in the future, I can come back again. Um, yeah, I would love to, too. <laughs> wow. The, yeah, the first episode, so we have a yeah. real Haik show veteran over here. Really? <laughs> she was here the very first time? The very yeah, yeah. first episode. The very first. Yeah, I saw wow. that episode, yeah. Yeah, yeah because I, I was with your friend. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, that's wow. True. <laughs> yeah, it's a small world. Small world. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for helping us kick off Haik and then coming back again. <laughs> Thank you for coming out. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. To Thank you. Guys. <laughs> Wrap it up. The Hack Show will air every Thursday at 2 p.m. with a new guest each time. So stay tuned. See you guys at 2 p.m. next week, next Thursday. And let's say bye to the camera. Bye. 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 See you next week. <laughs> See you next <laughs> week. <laughs> bye, everyone. Adios. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> <laughs>